Hi, we're going to make a cortado this morning with some medium coffee from Onyx. It's been in the freezer for a long time, but it'll still be good because once I freeze it, I take the beans out, use them, and put it back in the freezer. As long as you don't let let it thaw back and forth, you can use the same beans for a while. Some guys would never do that, but. Honestly, it's, it's just fine. When the flavors start to diminish, then I won't use it anymore, but the flavors are still great. 18 and a half grams, or thereabouts. And now we're gonna grind it with the, with our Versalab M4. Really doesn't have a lot of retention, so you do that fork slap to get anything that might be stuck. And you can see it comes out of the first lab, has a hole in the middle of it. You could honestly tamp this down and you can pull a good shot, believe it or not. I'll do that for you at one time. And I don't normally WDT, it's just something I've been playing with lately. I've noticed the extraction is a little bit more even when I WET, but you don't have to with that grinder. Flavors are still outstanding. That funnel is a walnut funnel that I ordered off of Etsy from a guy in Turkey. It's really cool. Very light, very well made. I also, also have a Cortado cup that I ordered from Etsy. I like Etsy. I like buying from people like that. They're so talented. All right, let's put our scale here. Make sure it's zeroed out with the machine. It's a little cup I was telling you about. Beautiful little cup. See if you can see the screen. You can see the screen back there. All right, that'll work. So we're gonna do an easy bloom. It's set to 18.7 grams and about 38 out. So it'll uh, load up with some flow at first. You'll see a blue light on top of here. It'll go to about here, fill up the basket. It'll sit for a few seconds and then it'll hit it with some pressure and you'll see the green light and then the green light will steadily go down. So let's have some fun with it. warming up right now. There's a blue light. That's, that's flow. And I can't get the graph in there. I'll show you the graph afterwards. It's not super interesting. And there's the flow. Now the extraction will start coming out pretty evenly. It's going to be slow. I want it slow. I want it nice and thick and bold. I'm gonna add some milk to it. It's seven bar of pressure right now. It's holding steady at seven. I have other profiles I'll do for you if you're interested. And there you go. Looks good. It's gonna be tasty. All right, now we'll do the milk. 
I have a small jug with about two ounces of milk in it. This can be tricky, steaming small amounts of milk. It's a little easier with a decent because the pressure isn't super high on the decent. Got some bubbles because I moved the camera. That's all right. I'll show you how to get rid of those. See the bubbles. The cortado, just swirl the milk around. If you have a cutting board or like a granite countertop like I do, you can just bang the bubbles out. I'm not looking for perfection here anyway. I'm looking for taste. See the bubbles popping? One or two more times, they'll all be gone. That's good enough. Not going to be any art here. Cups are too small. Yep, it's not happening. All right. There you go.